thoughts on your team's performance today? Another win, still unbeaten in conference play. Yeah, I thought our midfield and our uh, two stoppers here were exceptional. Um, we kind of didn't allow them to build much, and I thought that was good. And uh, you know, holding them to one shot was uh, was quality. Um, you know, defensively we did our job and we created enough chances. I only got two, but you know, I could have got four or five other ones there. They're point blankers. Ladies, as a defensive unit, kind of the leaders of your guys' defense. You know, this will be, I think, your fifth shutout in a row. Um, you guys having a lot of goal in quite some time. You know, what is it about the defense that is it communication? What is it about your guys' defensive performance that allows that to happen? Just communication. We have to make sure we're always on the girls, make sure no one's open, and just step to the ball. Don't let them win it, don't let them turn. And they can't score. Hmm. Well, we just have a really good like shift that we work on at practice, and so if that shift happens, we have Yessi who is very fast, which helps out Kelly and I, so we can play high defense. And so once that shift happens, they they really can't build through us because we always have three in each area of the field, which is nice. You only allowed one shot today; it wasn't even on goal. I think your goalies ever get bored kind of back there with you guys playing defense? <laughs> they might. <laughs> we try and include them passing some balls back, but no, they do a great job at talking as well. And so um, their, their goalie coach, Tyler, they are really um, trying to work on keeping possession through us. And so then we have a fifth player back there. And um, so it's kind of having two stoppers and two sweepers, which is nice. So. Jason's team's 8-0 in the NSIC. Does this team have a chance to run the table? I don't know. Right now, we, uh, I'm moving on to Winona. So, you know, when we played them in the NCAA tournament last year, so, uh, you know, we got to get through that game, and then, and then we got Upper Iowa. So we're, uh, we're chipping away. Uh, we have a six-point lead, or well, we have a three-point lead and a game in hand. And so, uh, you know, we'll see. It's uh Long way to go, long way to go. So there's 21 points left, and uh, we're just going to take them three at a time. And we still got to make the trek to Mankato. But, uh, you know, I think that uh, we're good enough to beat anybody on any day. We just got to play, you know, Beaver soccer. Where does this team stack up to last year's team? Uh, this team's quite a bit better, I, I would say. We're, our commitment to possession and our, uh, you know, our patience in possession is, uh, is better. and. Um, you know, uh, Chloe Melton made a big effort to, to get better in the off season, and Rafferty here did. And you know, uh, um, and last year we weren't quite as fast in the back, and just much faster. Um, so but we've got two daggers up front, uh, makes it difficult on people. Uh, and our midfield, uh, you know, everyone's back, and they just they're just all better. You know, we got 10% better across the board, and it made a big difference. And you know, the the rookies that have come in have contributed. So uh, you know, I I feel good. I feel you know, uh, it's just been a great year. It's fun. Ladies, as far as like, what's the feeling in the locker room after you win? You know, you're on this big win streak right now. You know, are you guys confident going into every game, or is it kind of just game by game? It's game by game. We try not to be cocky or anything because. We just want to win, and so we're focused on one thing only, and that's to get three points on a Saturday, Sunday, Friday, whenever we play. And so we try and take it pretty calm, and we try and stay focused, but we have one job to do, and we know that it's our job, and so we're in there to get it done. And we respect every opponent, and we go out, and we just play our game, and we just worry about ourselves. And so on the sideline, you'll hear us, yelling at each other like keep your head stay calm we don't care about like fighting or anything we just want those three points that's all that can, that matters at this point so